If you've watched my videos before, there's a good chance you have seen either the Big Fig Rex or my Wall of Clone Troopers, and you'll probably know I'm a massive fan of Clone Troopers, specifically not only Phase 2 Clone Troopers, but 501st Phase 2 Clone Troopers. So today we're building a mech using the 501st Battle Pack, which I still think is one of the best Lego sets that has come from the Star Wars line. Now, in yesterday's second video, or technically it was the one that came out first. So in one of yesterday's two videos, we spoke about the new Dark Falcon that has just had its images revealed. And I asked you to think about which battle pack you prefer, the 501st one from 2020 or the 2024 battle pack with the Coruscant Guard and the shiny Phase 2 Troopers. So be sure to let me know down in the comments which one of them two you prefer. And I think the 501st just gets away. Now, it's not a perfect set. I would have loved the droids to have come in it, but a Bark Speeder and an ATRT Walker it just doesn't really compare to the Bark Speeder and the Tridroid. The Tridroid's good, but it's not great. It has similar problems actually to the ATRT Speeder, and the Bark Speeder in the Five of First Battle Pack is just so, so much better. So I haven't taken these apart because I actually bought six of the set. I counted when I did my clone army. It's the most of one Lego set. I think I have ever bought. There's a few that I've bought two or three, like the 332nd Battle Pack and also the 501st Specialist Battle Pack. You know I had to get a few of them to create some custom clones. And I have actually created two new clones to add to my wall, but you'll have to go over to Instagram to find out. I've got to have something exclusive to make you want to go over there. In fact, I could probably show you one with the new hexagons that I've made. I promise we'll take a look at the mech in a minute, but go over to Instagram to see my custom dogma that I've made to go along with Captain Rex and Fives. It really is an easy custom and I've started printing hexagons. I'll probably have to switch up the color soon because we can't have two greens next to each other, but they cover the light switch now, which is really, really cool. I've got a few more to make for my other clones. I'm debating Add in the Bad Batch back to this wall as well, perhaps even at the top here, just expanding it upwards along the edge of the wall, but I don't want to leave my Bad Batch row on my other display empty. Now, if you were watching that last clip closely, around this portion of the screen, you would have seen at least the lower half of the mech, but the grand reveal in three, two, one, I think this is hands down the best mech I have made, and you know what? It's probably one of the best mechs I will ever make here on this channel for as many years to come as I am making videos. I don't think it gets much better than this. It is a 360 mech. I've included a backpack and everything, and it's built inspired by an ATRT and the bark. Actually, the ATRT and two bark speeders, because of course, an ATRT has two legs one, two. A bark speeder only has one body, which I have mimicked for the left and the right arms. I think we'll start off with the bark speeders actually, because I wanted to add some detail to the upper arms. Mando was sort of lacking in that area and Anakin and his Eater mech, which thank you so much, whoever it was that pointed that out in the comments. Eater is so much easier to say than ETA, did have the fins, which added just so much more detail to the shoulders. So I've added the handlebars off the bark just as that extra detail. And you can see there's even a blaster and one of these skis, which is usually on the side of the bark speeders coming out, which I thought had to be the weapons for this. The clones definitely could have some sort of blaster coming out, but wrist rockets, I just had to. I couldn't resist adding wrist rockets to a clone trooper. Now they're level with the B2 battle droids and the droids are the ones watching out for those wrist rockets. But like I said, I mimicked that on the other side. I actually used one of the fins from the side of the ATRT. You can see this piece here. Now you can see this piece here as the hands because it felt right that if I wasn't giving them a blaster, they didn't really need any fingers and they can just fold this fin inwards and in typical clone fashion, just punch their way through the droids, which we see so many times 
Thanks to that scene in Revenge of the Sith, I think it is, we first see a clone punching a droid and it shows up in pretty much every season of Clone Wars and the Clone Wars movie. So if you ever decide to re-watch the Clone Wars series, definitely keep an eye out for any clones taking on the droids, mano e mano. Now onto the legs, I think the torso has quite a few details. So actually there is a similarity between the legs and the torso. You can see I have repurposed a few stickers from the set. I know I spent so long trying to peel back the stickers and remove all the gluey, sticky adhesive that remained. And I'm now reusing stickers in mocks. I think this makes it look so much better. Adding that detail to the front of the legs and especially on the torso, mimicking that sticker that is present on the front of the ATRT. You can see there actually is two stickers and I tried doing a Thanos style neck brace of sorts. If you've seen my Thanos mech review, you'll know he has some sort of gold round arrow on the top of that torso piece. It just really wasn't working for this mech. So I've included that sticker there and you could probably get another one on top, but I think for this mech, something like the torso tile there, the two by two would be printed from Lego. So I'm definitely gonna consider using stickers in the future and the legs just give it that extra joint that I could have used a grill one by two tile, but the sticker does it best. I've also included the two by two blue dishes on the side of the leg, which once again are taken from the ATRT. I definitely need to invest in another light or just keep it turned that way. You can see that the legs do have these joints in universe. So it made sense to show that off in the mech form and the feet just look amazing. Once again, copied the ATRT feet and tried to stick with as many pieces from the actual set as I could. These slopes, obviously we don't get this many slopes in the set, but I have taken these over from the set heavily, heavily inspired by the well, not only the original Lego set, but also my minifigure scout customs that I am going to have a video tomorrow about attempting to upload these to Rebrickable one last time. But if you want to join the membership for £3, you can get access to all the instructions, including these two models. And I'm actually going to have a page where you can see what instructions I have made and perhaps a tester for them. But again, all news for that will be in tomorrow's video. So... Now onto the torso. I have brick built this from the ground. No giant mech pieces have been used, but I have also given them a backpack. Clone troopers usually carry backpacks or at least a lot of the arc troopers and heavies and I guess the more important clone troopers. All clone troopers are important, but some are more important than others. That's a nice reference to Animal Farm. <laughs> You can see we've got these antennas at the top and once again, you know already mimicked from the ATRT. I'm not gonna keep pointing that out, but this backpack has been created with some bar elements, grill elements, and just try to add so much more detail than a typical Lego clone trooper backpack, either the tiles or just the one by two with the bar sticking out the side. And I think it does a good job, probably full of some thermal detonators and other grenades. And with my Mandalorian mech, I guess we can take a look at all my mechs I've created so far lined up. At least for the Starship collection, there is another playlist full of all my older mechs. And I will also be adding these to that one. So you've got the choice of two playlists to watch if you do want to see some more. And because I have built this from the ground up, it actually allows the arms which match the angle of Lego's pieces to be straightened and really give them any angle you need. But this time the legs as well. The hinge joints actually hold up pretty well with the mech, considering how many pieces you can see the mech has and how heavy, it's not a heavy build, but you know, it's definitely got some weight to it. And the hinges do hold up well and we can straighten the legs. Thankfully with the dish pieces on the side of the legs, when we straighten the legs, it doesn't look weird because it just rotates with that joint and really does work well. So you can position this in so many different angles and have it perhaps jumping with a jetpack on the back. There is so much versatility to having a mech with poseable joints. So let's compare this to the other mechs I've built recently. I do read all of your comments and someone pointed out that the cockpit pieces on the TIE and the Eater mech 
should be swapped because the tire definitely has a bigger cockpit. And even though the ETA is mostly cockpit, it did underwhelm the cockpit on the tire. So I've actually nicked the tire bombers cockpit for the tire fighter. And I do think that it does look a bit better that way around. Anakin's ETA would definitely need this cockpit, but then the tire would have to be bigger. And I'm not sure they make any six by six dishes. So thank you very much for that comment. I have now switched them around and they look much better. But here are the five Starship styled mechs I have built so far, all inspired by Luke's X-Wing mech that started this whole process. And thank you so much for the support on these videos. I am enjoying this so much and there are so many other ships and vehicles that I already have on a list. And if any of you are commenting certain ships to see, I am bumping them videos up and trying to get them out first. But so far we have these five with plenty more on their way. So let me know which of these five is your favorite alongside which of the two battle packs I mentioned earlier is your favorite. And of course, drop a like on the video if you are enjoying these Starship mechs and subscribe to see more. As well as this, I'm gonna be starting to do some more other mocks because I feel like this might be getting a little repetitive. But that's all for today's video. Go check out that Dark Falcon Leak video if it's still up from yesterday and may the bricks be with you always.